Good morning, everyone, uh, for another installment of uh, morning prayer. A different camera angle, a uh, different uh, uh, room that I'm in. I had to make some adjustments this morning for today, uh, and I can't find some of my stuff. So now you have to look up at me almost as if you were uh, sitting at my feet, uh, which uh, may be something that you're like, oh, it's not horrible, or you might go, I don't like this. Um, fortunately, it should not, uh, should not be more than just today. So, um, we're going to be doing the Lord's, or the, uh, the morning prayer. I'm trying to find what is going on here with my computer as well, so that, hey Becky, so that I can see what is happening. All right, so I can watch. All right, so I know this is a real thing. I can see it. Oh, fantastic. Um, so, good morning, Becky. Um, uh, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, um, I'm in a different room. I can't find my tripod, which I had, had my phone set up on uh, last week, so we're at a different angle. You're sitting at my feet today uh, as I offer the morning prayer, uh, and I apologize for that. And on um, Wednesday, hopefully, at around 8 o'clock, way back to the regular setup. So, um, thank you for, for uh, enduring uh, the change. Uh, but we will go ahead and begin the, the morning prayer. Uh, if you have a copy of the hymnal of the ELW um, with you, it's page 298, the, the small numbers at the bottom of the page. And if not, uh, just follow along, and uh, hopefully uh, this will be a good spiritual exercise for you as well as it is for me. So let us begin. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, Christ is risen. O oh, come, let us worship and praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. You're going to notice that is a, a refrain we're going to keep coming back to. Uh, let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to the Lord with psalms. For you, Lord, are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. In your hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture, and the sheep of God's hand. And finally, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. So the morning prayer, uh, Becky, since it's you and me right now, um, and maybe Dale, hi Dale, if you're there, uh, it continues with, I'm going to bring it over here so I can see it better, uh, continues with um, one of the readings from the Daily Lectionary. And the reading that I'm going to offer today is from Exodus, and we'll see if there's anything um, anything that I can add, uh, any kind of commentary to this. But it comes from Exodus chapter 13, Exodus 13, verses, uh, <laughs> thank you, Dale, uh, verses 17 through 22. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near, for God thought, if the people face war, they may change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people by the roundabout way of the wilderness toward the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of the land of Egypt prepared for battle. And Moses took with him the bones of Joseph, who had required a solemn oath of the Israelites, saying, 
God will surely take notice of you, and then you must carry my bones with you from here. They set out from Sukkot and camped at Ephem, on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went in front of them, and a pillar of cloud by day to lead them along the way, and a pillar of fire by night to give them light, so that they might travel by day and by night. Neither the pillar of cloud um, by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. I have to make a little adjustment. I just realized I can hear audio from my computer and I didn't want that. So we have this reading uh, from Exodus 13, uh, 17 through 22, and God is leading them through the, uh, starting their journey through the wilderness. And God is leading them, giving them constant guidance by um, always keeping before them a pillar of cloud um, by day or a pillar of fire by night. And, and what I see from this, and I've not had this uh, confirmed by any other actual scholarly source, uh, so take from it what you will. Um, but I see a repeated uh, example of how God does this throughout the Bible and, and symbolizing, showing actually God's presence through the presence of the cloud and the presence of fire. Okay, and so we have uh, the presence of God in the cloud um, and Moses receiving the, the Ten Commandments. We have the presence of God in the fire and the burning bush. We have the presence of God in the cloud, especially in the New Testament when it comes to the transfiguration story, when the cloud kind of envelops uh, Jesus, uh, Peter, James, and John, Moses, and Elijah, uh, when Jesus is being transfigured up on the mountain. And then we also uh, see the cloud coming up uh, on a day that we'll be celebrating somewhat soon, which will be... Um, uh, ascension day and Jesus is taken up in a cloud uh, up to up to heaven and then we see the presence of God in the fire uh, in my opinion as well when we celebrate the day of Pentecost which is also coming up with the tongues of fire uh, descending upon the uh, heads of the apostles uh, filling them with the Holy Spirit and leading them out into the world to begin their mission so this imagery of the cloud, the imagery of the of the fire, um, is something that happens throughout the Bible. And when we see those things, it uh, shows us uh, God's presence with individuals uh, and with groups of people. So hopefully that added a little something to uh, our understanding. All right, so we continue on. Hey, Angela. Uh oh, now I feel like I need to perform. I'm glad Angela joined after I'm finishing pretty much. <laughs> Pastor Angela joined after I just gave my idea about, uh, about the uh, cloud and fire because uh, if anyone would be able to kind of set me on the right path, it would be Angela. And so I want to be able to get through this today and not worry about uh, how, correct, <laughs> how correct I am. Uh, but we continue um, morning uh, with... We continue with uh, uh, the words of blessed be the God of Israel. Uh, if you know how to sing them, once again, feel free to sing them. Sing them louder than I'm talking so that it sounds better than just my voice. Um, but in this case, I will be, I'll be saying them. Blessed be the God of Israel who comes to set us free and raises up new hope for us, a branch from David's tree. So have the prophets long declared that with a mighty arm God would turn back our enemies and all who wish us harm. With promised mercy, will God still the covenant recall the oath once sworn to Abraham from foes to save us all? That we might worship without fear and offer lives of praise in holiness and righteousness to serve God all our days. My child, as prophet of the Lord, you will prepare the way to tell God's people they are saved from sin's eternal sway. Then shall God's mercy from on high shine forth and never cease to drive away the gloom of death and lead us into peace. Service this morning continues on with uh, the prayers. The Lord be with you. 
Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new, especially today and each day. We thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern the nations of the world, especially during this time, that you would give them wisdom to guide. For the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, which uh, definitely at this time seems to be prevailing throughout the world. For all who work for peace and international harmony. Oop, I might have lost you. Hopefully I just came back. By paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown, give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go or if the internet connection will remain, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Each and every day, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us this day. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for, for being here with me. Uh, this day I'll be back on Wednesday, right around 8 a.m., hopefully with my tripod back, uh, so this doesn't look like uh, I'm hovering over you with my presence. Um, and uh, hopefully, once again, I'll continue to try to learn to sing these things. I try to sing these things. I learn them in my head. And then it gets time to go live and fear just overtakes me. Um, so maybe I can talk to Angela and we can work something out because uh, she's very good at this and she's musical and her husband is extremely musical as well. Maybe we can figure something out for these morning prayers where we can kind of like add a Zoom or go to meeting or something um, and do this and then put it on to uh, Facebook Live and um, be able to sing together. So peace be with you. Have a great day and I will see you all soon.